the GR Yaris. For many, just another Toyota. But for the likes of me and you, it's a rally car for the road. And look what I've got on the channel. Finally, a Toyota GR Yaris. And this has been requested by a few of you. So here you go. I've come to the party. Massive thanks to Brooklyn as well for lending us the car. And look where we are. The perfect playground for this car. North Wales. And we're going to take it for good old B-Road Blast. I'm Max Afavani and welcome to Driven Plus. So firstly, we're going to start off with the look of the GIS. And you know what I'm going to compare it to? Danny DeVito. Small, cute, but yet angry at the same time. And then as we come to the side profile, who am I going to compare the side profile to now? Kim Kardashian, maybe. You know, look how big those hips are. Actually, saying hips, definitely Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> but talking about the wheels as well, these are Evo Course and they've been put on by Brooklyn. They definitely match the personality of this car. Rally spec. And as we come to the rear of the car, I'm going to compare this to Mr. Incredible. Look, it has an eye mask wrapping around the rear lights. Now, this has an upgraded exhaust system that Brooklyn has fitted. It's a Miltec non resonated exhaust cap back, so it sounds something like this. Ah, driver, can you please turn off the traction control and try it again? For a three-cylinder, that sounds really, really good. And let's check the boot on the GI house, because this gives you 174 litres of boot space, which is pretty small. I don't know if you can fit much in it. Ah, I was wondering where you went. Yeah. Yeah. That is where we put the owner of the cars when we review them. Are you comfy? Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah, he's comfy. Let's go have a look inside. Inside of the car, we're going to start with these really, really grippy seats. Thanks to its Alcantara, you struggle to move about in these seats and you get GR embroidered on the headrest there. Now, the Alcantara touches carry on throughout. Thanks to, well, Brooklyn's modifications. You've got the gear knob, which is Alcantara, and the steering wheel as well. And the, uh, like the suede touches as well. The, the build quality and the use of materials is mixed. I like the, uh, the, the suede here, but... Well, it's Toyota at the end of the day. There are a few hard plastics going on, but I suppose hard plastic saves weight. And you get the plaque down here, which it says, developed for FIA World Rally Championship. Now, there's not many cars you can get with that plaque nowadays. Two cup holders there. Storage-wise, it's pretty good. You get a bit of a ledge there, another ledge there. You get your glove box as well, which is a pretty good size. Door bin isn't a bad size either. Ergonomics is good. You do not get an armrest, but on the right side is all right as well. Infotainment screen is 8 inch. You get Apple CarPlay and Android also as standard as well. And it's just really, really simple to use as well. It's not too different to your usual Yaris, but all like the, uh, the climate control buttons as well. It's super easy. So I'm super happy with that. Let's go check that engine out. Under the bonnet of the GI Yaris sits the world's most powerful production three-cylinder engine, 1.6 litre, 257 horsepower, and they say it'll do 0 to 60 in around 5.5 seconds. Let's find out. So let's launch the GR Yaris from 0 to 60. The book says five and a half seconds, but Brooklyn has given us a few tasty modifications. So let's see if that does make a difference. On your screen now are the stats and figures on the GR Yaris and power to weight ratio figure as well. I'm going to use a specialist timing gear, the Racebox Pro. So traction off. What we got? 5.17. Yep, that's quicker than what Toyota say. Toyota, why don't you employ me to do your 0 60 so I always get faster than the uh, the book says. It's weird, isn't it? Anyway, I'm happy with that. That's much faster than what the book says. Brooklyn, your modifications have made a difference, so you'll be glad about that, mate. Anyway, back to the review. But to really test out this car's capabilities, I thought I'd bring it here. North Wales, home to many of the best B-roads in the UK, 
and home to some glorious corners which is what the GI Yaris loves corners yes <laughs> look at this good sound as well Toyota have produced a car for around £30,000 which can genuinely rival a supercar you have to be one hell of a driver to get away from one of these but it's just like that annoying fly it just doesn't go away no matter how hard you try well unless I've got some newspaper in here but it's just so agile and fun but I really want to know how does the engine feel because it is a talking point a three cylinder but 260 horsepower in a car that weighs just less than 1.3 ton is a riot it feels incredible and the sound as well it, it sounds really really good the fact that obviously Brooklyn's done the uh, the upgraded exhaust which is definitely a worthwhile modification on these cars and so to also claim that this this power plant this engine is the world's most powerful production three-cylinder engine yes that's very very impressive but the look of these cars they just sit so well on the road don't they you look at it, it just looks so aggressive from the front and the size proportion of this car as well you bring it somewhere like this to its playground in North Wales manual gearbox four-wheel drive play around with the settings oh. <laughs> Toyota knows how to get to the heart of an enthusiast the GR Yaris gets a full-time four-wheel drive system you get three modes to choose from normal sport and track each mode changes the power delivery to the front and rear track mode is 50 50 sport is 30 70 rear biased and normal is a 60 40 split 60% going to the front wheels I have been playing around with the setup of this car sport mode I think is better for the road I like I like a rear biased car and that's what the feeling is I do like that it does push you around a bend as we're going here track mode obviously is much better on track because you've got that 50 50 split Toyota obviously know what they're doing as a driver's car I don't think there's a better hot hatchback on the market genuinely Toyota just seem to get everything right the steering feel is on point and the brakes the brakes are immense this has the circuit pack meaning you get the upgraded brakes from the convenience pack if you're looking at getting a GI Yaris I will 100% recommend the circuit pack because you just get loads more than the convenience pack it really is the perfect British B road smasher our roads are just becoming worse day by day so driving something like this does make it a lot better because this car has been made to deal with bumps and loose gravel it's a rally car at the end of the day remember but I think and, and this is where you guys really need to listen to me I think what the British government should do is instead of uh, fixing potholes you should give us all people who complain about potholes a GI Yaris and we'll be done with our day because uh, this car combats that problem so uh, Rishi Sunak or oh, I might have changed by then please listen to me but uh, Brooklyn I will miss all the potholes because your evil course wheels are, uh, are really nice and I don't want to damage them uh, correct tyre though mate PS4S's very good choice the fact that this car offers you four wheel drive as well look we're going to attack this corner full throttle <laughs> what <laughs> Well, the fact that it's such a short wheelbase, you just drop it down a gear, attack the corner, and it's as if it has like a rope attached to the corner, and it just goes round like ease. Like, what was that? Yeah, this car is uh, seriously impressive, shall we say. But what are the downsides? Well, it's really hard to pick something bad out of something really good. I love Toyotas, especially the Land Cruiser, but if I was to be honest, it's a lot of money for a Yaris badge but once you're driving one that instantly becomes irrelevant and okay yes it's not massively attractive on the inside but simple interiors work and I'll be honest when Toyota first unveiled the Yaris I thought really three cylinder hot hatch and it's a Yaris who's gonna buy one of them well how wrong was I when you look at homologation cars over the years Mitsubishi Evo Subaru and Petza where are they now they're in the past and if we really want to compare this with past homologation cars, Lancia Delta Integrale. Yes, 
This is a modern day Lancia Delta Integrale. It is, it's a homologation car, and the fact that the GI Yaris has more power, oh, and it's 40 kilos lighter as well. Mm, very, very surprising. So uh, if you've got one of these, hold on to it because it's, uh, it already is a modern day classic. We, you just know when a car is released, yeah, that's a classic. And in 30, 40 years time, your reaction to how you see a Lancia Delta Integrale is gonna be the same to when you see a GI Yaris. Lancia Delta Integrale looks better though. And I really do think Toyota needed this car. I think they've been off it for a while in terms of performance cars because they had that era where they were concentrating on uh, hybrid cars such as the Prius. But now, when you look at the lineup now, you've got the GR Yaris, you've got the GR Corolla, which we don't get, which is really, really annoying. Then you've got the GR86, the Supra, which is getting discontinued, and also the GR Land Cruiser. I don't think we get that in the country either, but. Do you know what, Toyota, I just absolutely love you. If anyone asks me, my second favourite manufacturer after BMW, it's Toyota. Mainly because of the Land Cruiser, but my love for the Land Cruiser has rubbed off my love on Toyota. You are one hell of a manufacturer. And if you're thinking of buying a GI Yaris, please, 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 please go and buy it. You will not be disappointed. This is one hell of a car. Just, oh, it just goes to show you don't need a big engine to have fun. A massive thanks to Brooklyn for lending me the car today. Massive thanks, mate. What a car you've done, you know, the modifications you've done, you've added your own touch. And uh, yeah, you should be proud of what you've, you've built. It's a really, really good car and it dries mint. It really does, mate. Anyway, I'd uh, like you to click the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next week. Comment if you like the GI Aris. I'm pretty sure I'll be a bit surprised if you don't. Um, and we will, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next week. Thanks, guys. See you later.